Um, this is a little scary. There's no sidewalk and you have to walk everywhere. Giant hole in the ground. If you fall in that, who knows where you end up. Good morning. Didn't feel very good last night. I feel like a lot better than I felt last night, but still don't feel like 100%. Oh my gosh, the rain like came in all over the floor. Ah, my handrail's soaking wet. Everything's soaking wet. Hello. Good morning. Good morning. The rain is clearing us. Looks like someone did a lawnmower. I wonder if we only get one cup or we can have like two or three. It's very good. I think it's really good. The milk's not the most amazing, but... <sighs> I'm sorry. Maybe I can get a banana. I'm feeling a little bit better, so my nose isn't going crazy. These awesome guys. <laughs> Hi. Thank you. This is your... Uh, Next time we're in El Nido. Yeah, we leave it tomorrow morning. Going to Florida. Yep, they have super fast Wi-Fi and AC. <laughs> They're super sweet there. Just got a coffee before we get on the boat. <laughs> Yummy. All right, so we have to go through this little line here. Put our stuff through that machine. And 4E, see that? Let's get ready for this adventure. We've reached the fun part of the journey where we stand in line and wait in the sun and the heat. I can't tell I'm sweating. James is over there, chilling, drinking his coffee. You guys, we're getting on the boat. Okay, so now we gotta wait in line. They gave us these umbrellas, I think, by the AC at least. But oh, the sunburn. Yeah. I want an umbrella. James said no. Two boats. Two different locations. We're in El Nido, we're going to Quran. Got my ticket. You got your ticket. Oh, look at the pretty mountain. I'll take an umbrella. Thank you. Whoa, it's like Mary Poppins. I get blown away. Guys, I'm holding the umbrella, carrying all kinds of bags. Yeah, it's a lot. We're getting on the yellow boat. Not the blue boat. Getting their plastic off the boat. Are they really gonna recycle it though? Guys, I just realized this is a speedboat, so we're gonna be going pretty fast. Umbrella. Give him my umbrella. Wow, do you got another arm? <laughs> wow, magic. Wow, thank you. Okay. Have a good day. Welcome, welcome. Where do we put our bags? Oh, put one up there. Go to the other side. Other side. It is like airplane seats, I told you. Hopefully it doesn't fall off. Just wrap it. Oh look. Huh? Excuse me. Oh look. Thank you. You're welcome. Who sat in our seat? Can we go on the roof? We can. Look how red my shoulders are from that bag. Poor me. <laughs> Good afternoon to all passengers. Please be seated for the head count of the Coast Guard. Thank you. Mm -hmm. I'm hungry. Whoa. That's scary. <laughs> They got free Wi-Fi on board, which is cool. They got the snack machine back there, which is not a machine, it's a person. You gonna get on the Wi-Fi? You better get on before everyone else does. I know the sadness that cripples you. It comes in waves and out of the blue. But there are days you feel free to do. Just got 
tattoo. Quran. There's been a gas smell and oil in the boat the whole time. We sat outside. Yay! Break. Quick. Guys, the door just opened. Oh my Hurry gosh. up, just get your bag. So run off as fast as we can. You're gonna carry it for me? You're so nice. Struggling to open the door. Push, push, push. Hi. Guys, there's not even steps on the staircase. I have to push you up. No steps, just a ramp. I didn't get anything to eat at, on the boat because it was all kind of gross. But you have to pay. Oh, now you have to pay again. Why do we have to pay? 200 pesos. 200 for what? Tourism and development fee. Wow, is that rice? Oh my God, it is. It's a giant truck of rice. No, thank you. Ooh, so many brochures. Guys, I just got mobbed by brochures. Well, should we take a car? Should we take a car? Should we take one? What's up? Welcome to my bag. Welcome to Corona. Show accommodation. Um, where are we going? We're going to Amphibico. Amphibico. Amphibico, yeah, I know that. 250 together. 250? That's a lot. No, we're good. I think we five five minute drive. Yeah, yeah five we can just so it's a half hour walk. You wanna get a tuk tuk? Yeah. How much is it? 200. 200. Yeah, that's fine. If we're gonna go anywhere with them, then we should go to the resort. Yeah. Okay. 200. Oh, look, he's running. Make sure that he knows what we look like. Oh, he's still running. Ah, way down there. There he is. Oh, we got the cute yellow one. How long have you been there? Four hours. Four hours? Waiting. Why? I'm start to uh, Nice bike. Yeah. Seven passengers. Seven? Yes. Hello. What's your name? Welcome to Coral. My name is Sunny Boy. First driving in Coral. Yep. I'm the blogger. Yep. All the kids getting out of school. Hello. I guess they get out of school late. We made it. It's like a diving place. There's kind of nothing out there. This is cute. Air conditioner works. Trying to connect to the Wi-Fi, but the Wi-Fi is not working. Hello, bathroom. Another electric shower. Overall, satisfied. The other place is way nicer, but this is all right. Half the price. This was half the price. So we're gonna go find something to eat and try to get the Wi-Fi to work. I'm feeling a lot better today. My nose is just runny, which is driving me crazy, but I, kind of found out that I either got stung by a jellyfish or the sea lice bit me and caused all kinds of issues. So I think that's the main reason why I was feeling bad yesterday. Look, I got this big, huge rash. Guys, look at that, oh my goodness. So apparently these are like all kinds of little barbs or something, and they get stuck in your shorts when you're like swimming in the water, which I wasn't even swimming, I was just walking through the water. And then this side has it all over too. And they are painful, look at this one. You see it? Whoa, holy crap. My body seems to be handling it pretty well, so that's good. I was worried it was like dengue and having a dengue fever rash and freaking out about that. But the lady said there hasn't been any dengue cases over on the island and it's dry season right now, so I think we're in luck. James literally suggested Robin! 88 degrees. Robin's good. He said, I was just looking at good reviews. This place is crazy. There's no sidewalk and you have to walk everywhere. Oh, here's one. Found one. Here's a little sidewalk. Oh, a kid's driving. Like four year old. Kid on a bike. There's some kids on bike. Can't do that in the US. Oh, this city's pretty wild. There's no, not really much room to walk around. And... Oh, wow. Oh, Cute. There's so many taxis, it's crazy. It's like New York, but worse. Because you can't walk around very easily. There's like no sidewalks. Just gotta like figure it out. Look, another pregnant dog. There's so many of those dogs. Oh, a gas station. Horses of roundabout. Oh my God, it's like a square. It's like a racetrack. It's a square about. How oh, cool, one way, van, tricycle, motorcycle. Look, the kid's driving. Where are you going? Over here. Well, okay. public markets have Let's go that way. Sounds creepy. So there's like four streets that I saw that you can walk down, four main streets. Pretty much four streets. There's so much noise. Yeah, we were spoiled in El Nido. Said the noise of the people asking you to buy a dry bag. 
Yeah. This is their justice hall. Well, I don't think this is really where food is. We should probably turn around. This place looks super nice. Deo. El Nido Cafe. Now you just have to figure out where it is. Hopefully it's not in this place, because that would be a very soft opening if so. Um, this is a little scary. Not scary. Gonna lie. No. It's a street full of kids. How is this scary? The houses are scary. Hello. Hello. What's up? Hello. What's up? Ooh, cards. It's like a welcoming gift. It's street full of kids, but it's still terrifying. Oh. oh my gosh, what are they growing? Oh, like plants out of Coke bottles. Plants out of Coke bottles. I think that's what that was. El Cubo Seafood Bar and Grill. Hello. Look how cute it is in here. We decided to sit down here at El Cubo. It looks good. It's also expensive and we're gonna try it. Vegetable curry for you. Okay. I'm gonna get the catch of the day. Fish teriyaki kebab. Tuna skewers, sauteed vegetables, pickles, chorizo, garlic, rice. Right. I'll get this. Fish teriyaki kebab. I love kebabs. It's 400 pesos though. And I bet you don't get that much fish. Welcome to Cuba. All right, let's try it. Hello. It was quite a bit. Mmm, yummy. You guys, yeah. Yum. Yeah. That was so good. We're heading back to the hotel. Oh my gosh. Whoa. Hot. Walking up a hill. <clears throat> well, they have a park. Oh, it's a basketball court. Wow. James got some news about his dad while we were at dinner. Um, his dad went in for open heart surgery yesterday. They had to fix a leaky valve and everything went well. But during the night in the recovery process, I guess it was leaking. So um, now they're having trouble stabilizing his blood pressure and trying to wake him up. So he's in intensive care right now. So hopefully everything is okay and he wakes up soon. And I guess they fixed the issue, which fixed is good. Lead. Yeah, so that's the main thing, fix that and um, wait for his blood pressure to stabilize so he can wake up. His stepmom just got to the hospital, so she's gonna keep us updated. There are so many of these bike things. It's like all taxis. You have to walk on the road, which is annoying. It's unsafe and like tons of people. But they don't have like a really good walking. And then the sidewalk kind of just like ends right there in random places. So there's not even a sidewalk here. The sidewalk is actually the car park. This place looks nice. So you get like nice looking right next to not nice looking. And then everyone yells at you to buy a tour or something, or a taxi. Hello. We're gonna go? You just have to go. There's a bunch of people outside. Nobody inside. Everyone's outside. Sidewalk with the giant hole in the ground. Okay, well, my impression of Quran so far is not good. It's like, so busy. There's no sidewalk half the time, and so you have to walk into the road where there's millions of these little trolley things flying by and beeping. And, and then the sidewalk's got giant holes in the ground, and the sewer runs under it, and then everybody parks where the sidewalk should be. So you can't really go anywhere safely. And it's just not pleasant. Like, look at this. I don't know how that's pleasant. I don't even want to walk on the sidewalk because all these are just like little blocks where there's like giant hole in the ground. Just like this, giant hole. If you fall in that, who knows where you end up. James is walking on it like it's fine. See, look at that, holes everywhere. Be here for five nights. And we might not want to stay here. Count your blessing. Who? Us. You read a sign that said that? No, that's what I'm saying. 